हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम विश्वजीत नाथ वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल बेस्ट फिजिक्स गाइड बाय विश्वजीत नाथ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डायफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट डायफ्रैक्शन इज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट फिनोमेना ऑब्जर्व इन केस ऑफ साउंड वेव एज वेल एप्स इन केस ऑफ लाइट वेव In case of sound wave, let us consider there is an obstacle, and two persons are situated two sides of the wall. One person creates some sound, and another person hear this can hear this sound. If sound wave travels in straight line, then the second person should not hear the sound when the wall is higher than the two person height of the two person but although the height of the wall is greater than the height of the two persons but these two persons can interact with their voice although the wall is present between them why because when sound travels in a straight line and it faces some stop uh, obstacle and the dimension of the stop obstacle is compared to the wavelength of the wave then the sound wave can bends its path and moves to the other side of the obstacle this phenomena is known as diffraction that is when the of dimension of the obstacle is equivalent to the dimension of the wavelength of the wave then the wave can bends its own path and overcome the obstacle and moves to the other side of the obstacle this phenomena is known as diffraction okay in case of light wave we can easily observe the diffraction at first definition of diffraction of light this phenomena of bending of light wave around obstacles or aperture of sight comparable with the wavelength of light resulting in its spreading into the geometrical shadow of the object is known as diffraction that means when light passes through an isotropic medium and faces some obstacle and the dimension of the obstacle is equivalent to its wavelength then the light wave bends its own path and moves to the other side of the obstacle this phenomena is known as diffraction practically we observed a diffraction uh, in case of sound wave very frequently but in case of light wave we uh, do not observe diffraction so much or as much because the wavelength of sound is very bigger than the wavelength of light that's why diffraction can be observed easily in case of sound wave but diffraction does not be observed easily in case of light wave s is a light source and it is a cardboard or obstacle o is a pin hole and this is a white screen this is a white screen 
when light passes from s when light comes from s and passes the obstacle through the pinhole o then we get a illuminated point or bright point at the point p and there is shadow outside the point p but due to the diffraction of light the shadow the intensity of darkness near to p is not much as uh, predicted okay that is at the point p or near to the point p the darkness of the shadow is less and when we moves away from the point p through along the screen on the both sides then the darkness of the shadow increases why at the pinhole at the point o or pinhole the points of the medium behaves like the secondary wave source that's why the points at the uh, uh, points of the medium at the point o emits secondary wavelets these secondary wavelets can illuminate the screen around the point p okay this is known as diffraction of light there are two type of diffractions one fresnel diffraction and another another is fraunhofer diffraction there are two types of diffraction one is fresnel diffraction and another is fraunhofer diffraction in case of fresnel diffraction the source or screen or both are at finite distance from the obstacle or the aperture and in case of fraunhofer diffraction the source and the screen both are at effectively infinite distance from the obstacle or the aperture okay in case of fresnel diffraction the wavefront is either spherical or cylindrical and in case of fraunhofer diffraction the wavefront is plane that is plane wave front in case of fresnel diffraction we do not use any lens or convex lens and in case of fraunhofer diffraction we use two convex lens to produce the parallel light rays now difference between interference and diffraction first interference interference is produced due to interaction between two different wave fronts emit from two different cohen sources and diffraction diffraction is produced due to interaction between two different secondary wavelets emit from two different points on a same wave front that is when uh, two different uh, waves coming from two different cohen sources and after overlapping the resultant wave produces interference okay and that is due to the superposition of two waves coming from two different sources which are in which are is cohen that is which are in same phase difference and having same frequency then interference is produced but in case of diffraction 
टू सेकेंडरी वेबलेट्स टू सेकेंडरी वेबलेट्स एमिट फ्रॉम टू डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स ऑन अ सेम वेब फ्रंट ऑन अ सेम वेब फ्रंट प्रोड्यूस डायफ्रैक्शन ओके दैट इज द इंटरफेस इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट वेब फ्रंट्स एंड डायफ्रैक्शन इज द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट वेबलेट्स secondary wavelets next second point fringe which may or may not be equal that is in case of interference the fringe width are may be equal or may not be equal but in case of diffraction the fringe width never be equal to each other okay that is fringe we are different in case of diffraction in case of interference the intensity of bright fringes are equal okay that is the intensities of bright fringes are must be equal but in case of diffraction the intensity of bright fringes vary with the distance from the central fringe that is from the central fringe the intensities of the bright fringes varies now i am going to discuss about fresnel's half period zone let us consider a b c d is a plane wave front and o is the center and p is an external point of this wave front where the intensity of the lights are to be determined now we can draw some concentric circles where o is the center of this circle and m1 m2 m3 m n so on at the points on the perimeter of the circle that is o m1 o m2 o m3 are the ready of the circles let op is equal to d op is equal to d is the distance between o and p now m1 p is equal to d plus lambda by 2 that is m1 p is equal to d plus lambda by 2 similarly m2 p is equal to d plus 2 lambda by 2 okay similarly m n p is equal to d plus n lambda by 2 here m n p is the distance from the nth zone to the point p that is d plus n lambda by 2 now the area of each zone is equal to approximately pi d lambda and the average distance of nth zone from p is dn approximately is equal to d plus half into 2n minus 1 lambda by 4 okay and the amplitude of nth zone the amplitude of the wave for amplitude of the light at the nth zone is an is directly proportional to pi lambda into 1 plus cos theta n where theta n is the angle between dn and d that is the theta n is the angle between the distance from the p to nth zone and the distance between o to p this is theta n since it is a half period zone therefore two consecutive uh, zones are in opposite phase now the resultant amplitude at the point p due to the whole wave front is a is equal to a1 minus a2 plus a3 minus a4 
plus dot 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 minus one whole to the part n into a n. Since the first zone and the second zone are in opposite phase, that's why a one the um, resultant is a one minus a two. And next a three and a four are in opposite phase. Therefore, a three is plus and a four is minus. That is first uh, zone is in positive phase and second zone is in negative phase. Then third zone again is in positive phase and fourth zone is in negative phase and so on. And since the amplitude of ith zone a i is equal to half of a i minus one plus a i plus one, that is the amplitude of the ith zone is equal to average amplitude of the previous zone and the next zone amplitude of the previous zone and the amplitude of the next zone that's and here i is equal to uh, 2 3 4 5 up to n or up to n minus 1 okay that is i starts from 2 2 3 4 5 up to n minus 1 this is the amplitude of ith zone Therefore, a is equal to a1 by 2 plus a n by 2 when n is odd and a is equal to a1 by 2 plus a n minus 1 by 2 minus a n when n is even. For n tends to infinity, that is if for infinite number of zone plates or zones, infinite number of zones a is approximately equal to a1 by 2 that is amplitude of the resultant amplitude of the wave front at the point p is the half of the amplitude of the first zone next zone plate what is zone plate? A zone plate is a special diffraction screen designed to put a stop to the light coming from alternate half period zones. Okay. That is, this is a zone plate which is constructed by the some concentric circular zones. Alternate circular zones are colored by black color and the other circular zones can transmit light okay that is and the, in this case the center zone central zone can transfer light or transmit light next zone the does not transfer light through this plate next zone can transfer light through this plate and so on it is usually constructed by drawing a series of concentric circles on a transparent circular glass plate. The ratio of ready of the circles are root over of 1 is to root of 2, root over of 3, etc. Okay. Alternate zones are colored by black color. When the central is transparent, and next zone is opaque and next zone is and the uh, uh, first or central zone is transparent next zone is opaque next and transparent next opaque next transparent this zone is known as positive zone positive zone plates this plate is known as positive zone plates otherwise when the central is opaque and next zone is transparent and next zone is opaque then this zone plate is known as negative zone plate. This zone plate behaves like a convergent lens. Behave like a convergent lens. Since we know that two consecutive zones are on a wave front are in opposite phase. That's why if we prevent to passing the lights coming from opposite zones 
then the intensity at the external point can be increased that is in this by the zone plates we can allow we allow the allow transmit transmission of light having in same phase having in same phase okay that is the light coming from central zone and coming from the uh, third zone are in same phase okay let this is a zone plate positive and it is a positive zone plate o i is the axis of the zone plate and p is the center of the zone plate o is an image and this zone plate forms the o is an object o is here o is an object here o is an object and the this zone plate forms an image at the point i that is op is equal to u is equal to object distance and pi is equal to v is equal to image distance in case of 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by fn where fn is the focal length of the zone plate having a number of zones here Rn is the radi radius of the circle of nth zone. Okay. Here we know that Rn is directly proportional to root over of n. Rn is directly proportional to root n. That is the focal length of the zone plate fn is equal to rn square by n into lambda where n is the number of zones and lambda is the wavelength of the light used and rn is the radius of the nth zone where rn is directly proportional to root over of n therefore we can use a transparent film or transparent glass plate as a convex focal convex lens and its focal length is fn. But there are big, there are some difference between the focal length of a convex lens and focal length of a zone plate. Here the focal length of a convex lens depends on the radius of the curvatures that is 1 by f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 and it does not depend on the number of wave fronts or wavelets and for a convex lens the f is approximately proportional to directly proportional to the lambda that is wavelength of the light used. Therefore, the focal length of the rate for red light is greater than the focal length of the for the violet light, violet light. But in case of zone plate, the focal length fn is a function of n. Therefore, focal length of the zone plate is uh, changes with the number of zones. And in, in this case, Fn is inversely proportional to lambda. Therefore, for the zone plate, the focal length for the red light is less than the focal length for the violet light. Next, Fraunhofer diffraction. In this case, the source of light and the screen both are infinity from the slit. Here, this is a cardboard. This is a cardboard, and AB is a small pinhole. Width of AB is small a. Small a is known as slit width. 
through this hole light passes and fall on the screen white screen xy here this is a parallel light ray comes from infinite distance and l is a convex lens o is a o is the focus of this convex lens on the screen xy p is another point on the screen theta is the phase difference between p and o therefore the intensity of light at the point p is ip is equal to i0 into sin square alpha by alpha square here i0 is the intensity of light at the point o where alpha is equal to pi a sin theta by lambda here theta is the phase difference between p and o and lambda is the wavelength of the light used a is the slit width that is the length of ab for minimum intensity at the point p that is for the dark fringe at the point p we have ip is equal to 0 therefore we have sin square alpha is equal to 0 since alpha not equal to 0 therefore alpha is equal to plus minus m pi where m is equal to 1 2 3 etc except 0 since sin square alpha is equal to 0 this gives a sin theta is equal to plus minus m into lambda a sin theta is equal to plus minus m into m into lambda this is the condition for dark fringe at the point p for maximum value of ip that is for bright fringe we have d ip d alpha is equal to 0 that is first derivative of i alpha with respect to uh, ip first derivative of ip with respect to alpha is equal to 0 this gives tan alpha is equal to alpha or alpha is equal to 0 or plus minus 2m plus whole into pi by 2 where m is equal to 1 2 3 dot dot etc m not equal to 0 this gives a sine theta is equal to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2 it a into sine theta is equal to 2m plus 1 lambda by 2 this is the condition for bright fringe and you already observed that the condition for dark fringe and condition for bright fringes are reverse to the condition for interference for double slit experiment here x x prime is a cardboard and a b is a hole and c d is another hole the width of a b and width of c d is equal to small a a b is equal to c d is equal to small a and the distance between two holes is b that is b c is equal to small b and d is equal to a plus b here d is known as slit width here l is a convex lens and o is the o is the focus of the convex lens o is on the white screen y y prime in this case p is another point on the white screen and the intensity of light at the point p is ip is equal to 4 i0 
sin square alpha by alpha square cos square gamma where alpha is equal to pi a sin theta by lambda and gamma is equal to pi b sin theta by lambda where d is equal to a plus b now the condition for interference maxima is a plus b sin theta is equal to plus minus n lambda and the condition for diffraction minima is a sin theta is equal to plus minus m lambda and the condition for interference minima is a plus b sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 and condition for diffraction maxima is a sin theta is equal to plus minus 2m plus 1 into lambda by 2. These are the conditions for light fringe and dark fringe. Next, missing orders in double slip pattern. We know that the condition for interference maxima is a plus b sin theta is equal to plus minus n lambda and the condition for diffraction minima is a sin theta is equal to plus minus m lambda. When bright fringe of interference pattern and the dark fringe of diffraction overlaps that is bright fringe of interference and dark fringe of uh, diffraction overlaps then we do not find the these internal fringes that is then we cannot find them in this case a plus b by a is equal to n by m this is the condition for missing order in double slit patterns Next grating, when there is many holes on the cardboard at equal interval, then this is known as grating. In this case, these holes are very small. Actually, these are pin holes. X Y X X prime is a uh, cardboard, and these are the pin holes. And small a is the width of the pinholes and b is the distance between two pinholes. When the number of pinholes are so much, then this is known as grating. In this case, the condition for maxima fringe is a plus b sin theta is equal to plus minus n lambda. And condition for minima a plus b sin theta is equal to plus minus 2n plus 1 lambda by 2 where n is equal to 1 2 3 etc 1 2 3 4 etc 0 actually 0 1 2 3 dot 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 here theta is the phase difference between the central maxima and others point on the screen This, this system is known as grating and it has it has high resolving power and it has high dispersive dispersive power when a white light enters through this grating then it splits and its dispersive power is can is written as d theta by d lambda d theta d lambda is equal to n by a plus b cos theta is equal to small n capital n by cos theta where n is equal to order of spectrum and capital n is equal to number of lines per unit length of the grating it has highly dispersive power with compared to the prism
that's why uh, we can use grating to identify uh, uh, two wavelengths of light having near to each other. Today I am going to complete my discussion and thank you for watching my video and please subscribe my channel and please click the like button.